Hello, Home Slices is here with Home Slice Adulting coming to you with a review for The Equalizer, uh, Season 1, Episode 1. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So, let's get into this. Um, I have not been uploading stuff on my YouTube lately. I'm in a big transitional period in my life. I am just about four months away from graduating with my master's in business administration degree so i'm excited about that and uh, school has been quite intense um, i'm also planning a wedding uh, getting married later this year in the fall and uh, i just bought a new house so we have projects and stuff around the house so things have been crazy for me and youtube has really been on the back burner so um i wanted to watch this show the equalizer because i really enjoyed the movies okay you know for those of you who don't know denzel washington is my cousin technically um like a third cousin i believe his grandfather and my great great grandfather were brothers that's how the story goes but um i have never met him and he wouldn't know me from a can of paint if i saw him on the street but anyways i enjoyed the movies i thought they were very good and i thought it was quite interesting that they had turned it into a series fun fact one of my one of the movies i really like with denzel in it is the bone collector which also featured queen latifah and i found out recently that they turned the bone collector into a series last two years ago in 2019 and i didn't hear anything about it and unfortunately it got canceled i guess because it wasn't as popular as they were hoping but i definitely would have watched it had i known so this is the second um <laughs> second movie of denzel washington's in recent history that has been converted into a tv show so that's interesting to me but anyways um i wanted to watch it because the fact that they cast queen latifah was quite intriguing to me um, I did enjoy the movies and I wanted to see where the story went and all that jazz so um anyways this is my way of easing my way back into doing reviews so let's go ahead and get into it um Queen Latifah is playing a character named Robin <sighs> I don't know why her name is escaping me right now it's Robin something but uh, Robin is um, a person who used to work for the CIA who transitioned into doing like charity work in third world countries and recently quit her job working for uh, this charitable organization because of something that happened in Venezuela. Apparently some congressmen changed their minds and half the town got massacred uh, or half the village in Venezuela got massacred. So unfortunately um, she has been, been you know, um, what's the word, like disillusioned or whatever. And you know, is kind of down and out on herself about what is, what was going on with that organization. So she quit her job and she, you know, is trying to move on with her life. She has a teenage daughter with uh, someone who she is no longer with. The person that she was with is getting married to somebody else. And um, she also lives with her aunt, if I remember correctly. Um, and her aunt is kind of like her guardian angel or whatever, I guess. But anyways, the point of the series is that she is done with the CIA. She's over it because they just use people like pawns. Um, she's done with the charitable work with villages in third world countries because she is tired of seeing people get hurt and is dealing with the trauma of... Uh, losing half the village and the other people that she worked with um and there's another person in her life that she's going to be using as a resource throughout the series whose name is bishop who apparently trained her in the cia but moved on to start his own private security firm so now he's kind of rich and um he was trying to get her to go back to the CIA and she was over it. She didn't, you know, she didn't want to be another cog in the machine. So um, this is where things are going to get. Well, 
before things get spoilerish, okay, I'm going to start off by saying that I think I love Queen Latifah, okay? I love that she has been able to transition from being this dope female rapper in the 90s and transition into acting, which has given her longevity that lots of people can achieve. I love that she um, is a, a larger woman. She's doing her thing. She was building like a some type of complex for homeless people, I think in her hometown, I'm not I'm not sure if it was her hometown. I like her a lot. I think she's great. Um, and I was just very kind of like curious <laughs> about why they picked her. Because I think it's great that they picked her, but it's also just so So beyond me, why Hollywood picked her. And it's not like she doesn't deserve it and not like she's not a good actress. But when I think action star, I don't think Queen Latifah. And I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm more in awe and I'm more like, okay, this is good. We have a person who is not the typical ripped person who is able to keep up action wise who's able to ride a motorcycle through the streets and have it not be a person who is is a typical loner right she has an aunt and a child that she cares for it's not a typical ripped six-pack I don't have any connections except for the people I work with type of person. So to see them take a different angle, because that's kind of how Denzel Washington's character was. A loner didn't really get close to anybody and all that type of stuff. And to have Queen Latifah be different from that, I think is an interesting twist. So it's, it's not to say that I don't want to see her in the role. I think it's very progressive that they have put her in the role and I'm curious to see where it goes. So I will say all of that. Now, let's get into the spoiler stuff. So in this episode, Queen Latifah is meeting up with the bishop guy who's trying to convince her to come back to the CIA. She ain't having it. Um, and it just so happens that the spot where they meet up, she sees a young lady who has recently been framed for murder going into a gated area inside um, where the wonder wheel is i think they're in new york i'm pretty sure they're in new york and um and the young lady is trying to get documents to get out of the country and queen latifah sees this young lady go in with him and she follows them and he is basically he and like three of his friends are planning on sexually assaulting her and then giving her her documents or whatever i guess at the end and Queen Latifah comes in and is like, hey, you don't want to do this. Let her go. And of course, they're like, oh, you're just a lady who followed us in here. This is my world. I have a gun. She beats him up. Of course, she shoots a couple of them. She beats him up. She takes the girl and it's like, what the heck is going on? Queen Latifah introduces us to her friend. She has a um, an Asian friend whose name escapes me. We're going to have to get better with the names. I just watched the episode just now. An Asian lady who has a um, bar and who is an expert marksman. Um, and she asks her to take help take care of the girl. So she boards the girl. And then the Asian lady has a husband who is like a tech person, a hacker who apparently um, was killed and um, Queen Latifah's character, Robin, helped arrange that. So um, apparently he was a wanted person or whatever and she arranged his, his you know, fake to death and he is indebted to her for making sure he doesn't have to look over his shoulder all the time. So he becomes the tech person which is, you know, we always need one of those tech people in situations like these. Um, they're uh, at the beginning of the show, the young lady in question, the one that was uh, framed, uh, sees a murder 
and magically a tape comes out that shows her doing the murdering so she's on the run from the police because she can't go to the police because they have a pretty convincing video that she killed the the guy who died so queen latifah and her friends they go through this whole situation of trying to solve this case trying to figure out why the men who actually killed the deceased person killed him getting into their backgrounds figuring out who they are figuring out who they work for and they go through this whole process and at the end of the day queen latifah saves the day and the young lady gets to move on with her life and now Queen Latifah is like, now I have something to do. I was previously unemployed. At the beginning of the episode, I was unemployed. I just quit my job. And now I have a job. And so the, the show ends with her sending out a message. Do you need somebody to go to? Are the odds stacked against you? I'm here for you. Hit me up, basically. So um, what I will say about the show is, again, love Queen Latifah. However, I feel like she's having a very hard time coming off as maternal to me. For whatever reason, in when she was in beauty shop and she had the younger daughter, she came across as like, this is my daughter. This, I am maternal. Her having a teenager in this show, for whatever reason, is not clicking for me. She, she doesn't have maternal energy when she's talking to her daughter, so... I'm, I'm not that also there are certain things like in the cadence of her voice of Queen Latifah's voice that make things less believable I don't I don't know how to how else to say that but um overall I think she did a really great job but those were the two things that I kind of noticed and maybe over time they get a little bit better as she actually builds a relationship with the with her co-star who's playing her daughter I guess um also in the show there's a male police officer who uh was working on the young lady's case and um actually seemed to have some <sighs> more sense than the average cop I mean he's a, a detective and um even though there was a video of the young lady actually committing the crime which ended up being doctored of course because it wasn't real um he did have enough sense to believe the young lady when she was telling him that she didn't do it so um apparently he's going to be a big part of the series as well and he's going to be launching his own in investigation into who queen latifah actually is so we'll see how that goes so um overall i thought it was interesting also that queen latifah um also put some you know pro-black themes into the show uh towards the end when she's having this moment with her daughter and trying to trying to teach her daughter how to be better because she catches her daughter shoplifting or whatever and you know she takes her daughter to a jail it's full of women of color saying you know the world's just waiting to lock you up as a woman of color and um hearing that and seeing that they are actually putting those types of themes into um this show is interesting and i think it's good as well so overall i like the show i'm going to keep watching it i'm going to keep reviewing it um it's unorthodox for me because i typically review reality tv like real housewives or yeah i'm gonna fix my life but maybe it's time to take a different direction and review an actual show on freaking prime time and that's one of the things about um being in quarantine and having all of the streaming services netflix hulu hbo max amazon prime having all of those things is that after a while you can't you don't figure out what to watch so actually having a show that you have to wait to see another episode kind of how they're doing you know wandavision or whatever kind of takes me back to when you actually had to wait a week to see what happened next so Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought about the equalizer. Does the show even tickle your fancy? Let me know. Put it down in the comments. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And you'll find those links down below in the description box. Peace out, home slices.